welcome to the optical communication course today we will learn a model 2 and uh, in that model 2 we will learn that transmission characteristics of a optical fiber so we will learn here transmission characteristics of optical fiber now in this transmission character of optical fiber we will learn the attenuation uh then uh, after attenuation we will learn absorption that absorption is about a material absorption or that absorption due to that uh, losses in a fiber okay that we will learn then we will learn that the losses in the given particular fiber that losses can be a because of that uh, a linear and non linear scattering loss that is nothing but a scattering takes place there and uh, we will learn here the losses because of that bending of the fiber there are types of uh, that bends micro bending and macro bending and uh, then uh, we will learn that what will be the dispersion there so in a dispersion we will learn that a intermodal dispersion and a intramodal dispersion okay there are the two types of dispersion that is about intramodal and intermodal dispersion and after that we will learn, we will learn that what are the phenomena for the dispersion what will be the polarization what will be the polarization then we will learn the connector here how our fibers are connected that's why we will learn that a connectors then we will learn that alignment alignment of fiber or we can say that another we will learn that a joint okay alignment or a joint losses fiber alignment or a joint losses in this particular topic here so now uh, that's about uh, your uh, transmission characteristics of your optical fiber we are learning uh, now uh, that uh, a model proof we have to learn that the transmission characteristics of your optical fiber to learn the what are the characteristics that is transmission characteristics of your optical fiber we need to know about that how your light is propagating through the fiber okay means how your rays are propagating through the fiber that we have to learn so in general if you see that your uh, setup okay for a given particular fiber we have the core and your light is propagating through the core when a power launch takes place there yes you can say that when we have the power launch takes place the light is propagating through the core now when this light is propagating through the core okay, i say that this will be reflected from the boundary okay now in this case of your optical fiber your light is propagating through the core because of that there is a index difference from the core and cladding and that's why that light is reflected from the core and cladding that boundary okay at this particular boundary we say that the signal or that rays are reflected from it now for the given length of a fiber whichever the signal we are transmitting from this end it is to be received at this particular rate means what whatever the power level we are sending particular signal that same is to be received at this particular rate that is about a theoretically we say or we can say ideally your signal is propagating and it is to be received but in a given optical fiber it is made up of a glass or it is made up of that core or a cladding these are the boundaries here and it has a refractive index that is we say for a core it is about n1 
So that core is made up of a glass, glass silica, or whatever the material composition of a material we are using to develop that fiber core. Because of that particular composition present in the optical fiber, when we transmit a signal, when we transmit a signal from this end, so at the other end, we are receiving that signal, that level of that signal get attenuated. Why it is getting attenuated? Means, simple we say that, suppose I am having, for example, I am saying that this one is about a peak of our signal, but at the end, we are receiving the peak, if likewise. Means that level of the signal reduces. Why this level of the signal reduces? Because of that attenuation. And how this attenuation takes place? That attenuation is takes place inside a fiber because of that glass material. Because of that material used in a core and a that uh, cladding there. Mostly your light is propagating through the core. Whichever the material we are using in the fiber because of that attenuation takes place. That attenuation is dependent upon that length of the fiber. If that length of the fiber is increases, that attenuation will be increased. So generally, we can say that when we transmit some particular power from this end, so we are receiving the power at this particular length. But here we can say that is about the input power. We supposed to be considered here is the output power. That power differences here that output because that fiber is having the length here, whichever the length we save. And based on that length of the particular fiber, power, that fiber, according to that, output will be changed there. Means, we consider that whatever the power we send or from this transmitting end, we send some particular power and then we are receiving the power at that particular place here with this particular length. So, means gradually, when your signal transmitting through this particular fiber, so it got attenuated because of that length of the fiber. When signal get attenuated means what? Attenuation takes place, and that attenuation is depending upon that length of the fiber. So means in a fiber, we consider that that signal attenuation, or we can say that a loss of a fiber or a signal loss is depending upon that what will be the length of the fiber there. Here we consider the fiber in between there is no repeater, there is no amplifier or no connector is there. That is ideal fiber we have considered and for this given ideal fiber your signal get attenuated and that attenuation is depending upon that how your fiber is fabricated or we can say that how we how what are what type of the material is used in this given particular fiber so that material or we can say that glass silica there composition of the glass silica present in a core fiber so that will tell you the how much is the attenuation takes place inside the particular fiber for a given particular leg. So, we say that a power output at this particular case, if you find out output power, if you write the output power with respect to that, how much is the power input here and that is depending upon that a loss or we can say that a attenuation there and this alpha is nothing but the attenuation coefficient of a given particular fiber for a given input power and that attenuation or we can say that this particular factor we can write is depending upon that how much is the attenuation takes place throughout this particular length okay that is about your length here. so this length means generally your light is propagating in the direction of a Z, in that case, some people are saying alpha Z here. 
instead of saying that length alpha z and this is nothing but the attenuation factor that particular attenuation factor for a given particular length and that alpha is nothing but a attenuation coefficient and that attenuation coefficient is depending upon that length of the fiber or you can say that it is depending upon that length of the fiber in terms of a kilometer not in a meter there so generally a attenuation if you write the attenuation that will be depending upon that how much is the length or you can say that if your signal radiating or signal propagating in a z direction so that's why you can say that you can find out the attenuation in terms of a dv or dv per kilometer so you can write a power output here or you can say that output power with respect to the input here so we can consider that a p in and a p out here and that gives you the equation of what 4.3 43 whatever the attenuation test is in the terms of a dv kilometer there so that is about your alpha in terms of what a dv per kilometer and in the about your here alpha p this one is you can say that is about a alpha p here by this uh, that alpha which is we are writing in terms of a dv per kilometer because the power loss in terms of a kilometer so that's why this alpha p is nothing but what a kilometer raised to minus 1 okay that is about your fiber loss or you can say that is about a fiber attenuation and generally we consider that a power loss or we can say that a power in terms of a db there dbm so for the unit of a dbm there we can always you write a power in a dbm so we can consider that a tan log of whatever the power we have with in a watt with respect to that 1 milliwatt so this will give you the power in terms of a dbm there even if we can consider that input power or output power in a dbm so we can just consider that the power output in a watt or in power in watt with respect to one okay milliwatt will get that a dbm or we can say that a power in a db micro we will get the same here we can write here the power in a watt here and this one is about a one microwatt that is about the db reference that is about a microwatt okay so you power unit of a power okay we can consider either in terms of a db or either we can consider in terms of a whatever the milliwatt are a microwatt there so we are going to be consider here the attenuation okay we are going to be learn here the attenuation of a fiber and that attenuation we are saying that it is depending upon the or you can say that a signal attenuation is depending upon that length of the fiber there signal whatever that we can say that the attenuation of given particular or you can say that a fiber loss that is depending upon that length of the fiber then how this attenuation occurs why this attenuations occur that attenuations are occur because of that we have that material means we can say that a core is made up of a glass so means we can say that a absorption we say that attenuation because of that absorption in the glass which are the material we are using that is nothing but a glass there or we can consider that or a absorption okay absorption due to the impurities or we can say that absorption due to the impurities that impurities are nothing but what we can we are using that iron we can consider that copper okay we can consider that whichever the material we are having okay that are, that are used to design that whatever the 
fiber okay or you can say that fiber glass fiber and all this is about the material or we can say that is about the absorption due to this particular fiber there and again we can say that another way of the attenuation it is we say that is about depending upon that uh, that signal length and all that length of the fiber again uh, whichever the signal we are transmitting it is propagating through the fiber okay that signal is propagating through the fiber and we say that if there is a multi mode is there okay if that fiber is a multi mode fiber then there will be a distortion signal distortion occurs because of that a mode distortion occur due to the material as well as the distortions occur due to the modes of, of the fiber so that modes of the fiber means you can say intramodal dispersion or you can say that intermodal dispersion that intermodal dispersion occur because of that if we are using that multi mode fiber and uh, intermodal dispersion it is inside this particular modal noise and all so means when we transmit the signal there will be a loss okay that loss is because of what whatever the mode we are using so that's why you can say that it's about a modal noise or you can say that a loss due to the a polarization there so in the case of a polarization whether we are using going for the horizontal polarization or a vertical polarization so in terms of a light or that ray theory we can define the polarization the way of what or with uh, respect to the electric field so that's why we need to know about that again the maxwell equation and how this uh, wave polarization is there similarly we can say that a concept of polarization for this optical fiber with respect to the electric field theory whether we have that light is this we can say that array is this like horizontal or a vertical one so according to that we can see that the body horizontal polarization or vertical polarization we can see that later whatever the polarization and all and how your transmission takes place so we can we say here a attenuation takes place inside the given fiber because of that whatever the distortion there so generally we say that there is a distortion in a signal or we can say that a loss or we consider that a distortion in a signal distortion in signal that is because of what a attenuation okay that is due to the attenuation the signal distortion takes place and that distortion is because of that attenuation there and why this attenuation is there because of that whichever the material is used and that material we can say that because of that material absorption of a light or absorption of this signal takes place there. so that is called as a material okay that absorption due to the material okay absorption due to material then again we can consider that because of the material we are using that material has a property or at the time of manufacturing when we are designing or developing a fiber there okay at the uh, at the time of manufacturing some defects occur inside the fiber there and due to that defects okay due to the defects some molecule will be okay that hole will be generated because of that particular molecule and when that hole is generated because of that molecule suppose to be hole is here at that particular place now hole is created now when that light reaches to that particular particle or particular hole there or particular molecule and from that your light will be scattered so instead of propagating through it your light will be scattered from that particular place so means scattering of a light takes place from that particular place so because of that 
whatever the defects occur inside the fiber or inside the core likewise you know the light comes at that particular place there so your light will be get scattered why this scattering is takes place because of that that circuit or that particular we can say that a light propagating through this particular fiber okay so in that case there are some imperfection occur inside the fiber and that imperfections because of that material and that imperfection occur because of that atomic structure or because of that at the time of manufacturing so that is a manufacturing defect or or we can say that some molecules missing in that particular fiber or it create a cluster of the atoms there high density atoms okay high density cluster atom inside the particular fiber or they have the oxygen defect inside the particular fiber core or in that particular structure and because of that a absorption takes place inside the particular fiber there now here the case of a fiber we say that we use that fiber that is a straight one okay right now we consider the fiber is nothing but our straight fiber but what happen here in a uh, if it is a straight which of the losses comes inside the fiber because of that material we say but that is about a ideal case but in a practical your fiber will not be a straight it will be bent somewhere so means likewise it will be bent so this type of fiber means it will be bent here. and because of the bending of a fiber so internal structure of the core get affected and because of that which of the rays are propagating through that from this particular bend they will be scattered or they will be propagating with a smaller delay or there may be a loss because of that scattering at this particular boundary there or we can consider that for a given particular fiber there are small defects at this particular core and cladding boundaries okay at this core and cladding boundary likewise there are small small defects at this core and cladding boundary there. and because of the small defects at this core and cladding boundary that because of that your loss will be there means we can say that a signal loss or a signal distortion takes place so we consider here the a signal is alternated alternation takes place because of that whichever the material we are using or we can say that there are the defects inside this particular fiber atomic defects there or atom structure defects there inside the fiber material or inside the particular fiber core there and because of that attenuation takes place so we will learn here the how this absorption is there that absorption there are the two types of absorption we say generally we say that absorption because of that atomic defects and how these atomic defects occurs inside the particular core fiber there fiber core and they are having a two types that is about extrinsic absorption and a intrinsic absorption okay we can say that a intrinsic or we can say that extrinsic one okay intrinsic or you can say that the what is extrinsic one so in that case a intrinsic or extrinsic one in this case what happen in the case of intrinsic absorption that intrinsic absorption because of that which are the basic atom or a basic structure of that particular material okay Which is which are the basic material or basic constituent from this particular material, and because of that, intrinsic absorption occurs there. 
and that extrinsic absorption means what there may be some impurities in atoms okay impurity of atom while making this particular fiber or particular material means impurities in a material or impurities in a glass fiber then because of that there will be extrinsic absorption to understand the concept of alternation we need to learn here what are the various alternation windows or we can say that a fiber alternation windows how your fiber work in that particular alternation windows there we consider that alternation windows with respect to the wavelength generally signal propagating through the fiber we consider that it is in terms of a nanometer there but if you take in terms of a sorry this is about a nanometer of a wavelength but if you convert okay if you convert in terms of the frequency then that frequency we are getting approximately in terms of a gigahertz and we know that the modulation nano that in modulation we are using a carrier it has a higher frequency but in the case of optical fiber communication your signal is in the form of a gigahertz means higher frequency there so as compared to your signal and a carrier your carrier is having the higher frequency or we can say that the signal is having the higher frequency but in the case of a modulation a carrier has the highest frequency and signal has the lowest frequency there is a difference in the signal or there is a difference in the frequency there because of that your operating wavelength work in the in nanometer of length so that part we are saying regarding the modulations and all that we need to explain in terms of a signal and that signal is having the gigahertz of frequency so we consider here the attenuation that attenuation windows means your fiber will work in which window whether it will be of which wavelength window means what length of the frequency or length of the wavelength range of this particular wavelength so that your fiber will work or operate there now we will consider here these are the windows here and this one is nothing but a attenuation okay x axis is nothing but wavelength and it start from the 600 nanometer here and the alternation start from the point 1 point 2 point 5 then 1 then here 5 then this is about 10 that is about your fiber now now these are the attenuation window we say here your fiber will work from this 800 to which of the band here it's about 1000 then it will 100 here then 1400 then 1600 180 and in the first window if you see that this one is about you can see the fiber will work in the given particular band and uh, that that is about it wavelength we say it is about wavelength 
in terms of a nanometer now. And this is 100 to here. Now these are about the bands that fiber is going to work in this particular band. Your attenuation is a small there, so that whichever the material used while designing the fiber here, that will be off. This is about it, a standard fiber. This one is about, you can say, the first window. The second window. This one is about a third window. And this is defined as about a blue water peak. Now what what this particular graph saying here? Because from this to this, okay, this window here. Old days people are using the fiber that is about made up of plastic and all. In that case, your attenuation is high. Nowadays, that is that can be used for that whichever the source we are using, that source is of the particular wavelength or the particular bandwidth there. You can say that here we have the another band. Here is the another band means first window and second window it is showing you that the operating building and their attribution so now if you consider that a 1550 nanometer of wavelength that attribution is low as compared to this one so third window means 1550 nanometer it has a low attribution that is about a near about to the point to here you can consider and here is about a something is about a attenuation near about a 0.5 now for the second window. Now, if you consider this one, the attenuation for this particular first window that is high, the attenuation third window is high because the source is operating in this particular band, they, are, they have the low attenuation. Now, from this particular case here. People are saying 13, 1300 or 1250 something that is about a operating band of the fiber here. But in the case of 1300 or 1350, there is about a low attenuation. But above that, 1350 something, that attenuation of a fiber is increased now. So that's why this particular band, okay, from this particular band, that fiber is not okay they are not using the fiber there okay because that attribution is large here but here earlier case that fiber is used in this particular band rolling band okay higher attribution but nowadays people are using that 1550 or a 1350 nanometer of it windows and that fiber is to be used there now this tell you this particular graph will tell you so for a given particular material so how much will be the absorption take place when we are going to be consider the impurity is added that impurity is about a iron or you can say that is about a copper okay that impurities of iron copper chromium that is about the water 
while making this class or if i were here if suppose these impurities are added because of that impurities abstractions okay here we can say that the abstractions or attenuation takes place in this particular fiber there and that abstractions or attenuation in this specific parts but these windows are mentioned here why these windows are mentioned even this graph is likewise because your fiber will be operating in this particular band that source we have those are developed in this particular band because of that low attenuation and if suppose we are using a uh, that uh, you can see a fiber other than this, that uh, source other than this particular band then attenuation will be large so we say here that the absorption due to the impurity is added this we say that the absorption due to the material and due to this material a scattering occurs and that scattering is nothing but a linear scattering or a non linear scattering <coughs> or we can say here that absorption takes place because of that fiber is having the bend so that's why you can say that the body micro bending or a macro bending okay that fiber is called as a micro bending or a macro bending there with signal distortion takes place signal distortion takes place because of that attenuation and that attenuation attenuation are because of that absorption absorption because of that material or defects in the material or attenuation because of that scattering absorption because because of that fiber loss or or due to that modal noise or we can say that is about a uh, because we can say that uh, there will be a modal noise or that we can say a dispersion there we can say that a loss or a distortion signal distortion there are two types we can say that is about a attenuation and a and that dispersion again dispersion is because of that material one or because of that intermodal dispersion or intermodal intramodal dispersion now what do you mean by dispersion now a pulse we are sending now this is about a pulse we are sending through the fiber and at the end we are receiving the pulse and that pulse get broader this we are sending a pulse of duration but that pulse width is increases okay here if you see that width increases now because of that increase in a width so that means what we increase is width means what that is about the broadening of the pulse here and because of that we are not able to identify that a signal because signal is propagating in terms of a higher carrier frequency and because of that higher carrier frequency signal is to be received with a faster response and if that broadening is there we are not able to identify that zero than one because your signal is transmitting with the train of pulses that is nothing but a train of pulses it is indicating indicating 1010 one, okay that train of pulses but if that pulse broadening is takes place the level of that particular signal is not able to identify because of not uh, able to identify the level of a signal so there will be a distortion and that distortion occurs because of that pulse broadening and that pulse broadening is we are learning here that is about a dispersion so there are the types of dispersion that is that are the material dispersion or you can say that a type of dispersion is 
intermodal dispersion and intramodal dispersion if we have the fiber okay we can consider that if we have a multimode fiber then there may be intramodal dispersion okay that is about a dispersion dispersion due to the material dispersion due to the intramodal okay inside whatever the mode we are we have or intermodal so intermodal that is if we have a fiber that is a multimode fiber then intermodal dispersion occurs 